When you go to seminary and when you learn about preaching, the different methods of preaching, there's something that's called a homily. And a homily is a 10 to 15 minute sermon that you give in exhortation and exaltation to who Jesus is. So I'm sitting there trying to think of what kind of homily I'm gonna give. Cause this man just told me I had to say something. But you know, all you got to do is think about the goodness of Jesus. I'm gonna help somebody in a minute. All I need is a minute to think about where I could be, where I should be, if it had not been. So I can't even think of where it is. Some of y'all who Google up there, Lamar, Tiffany, somebody finds it. I'm just gonna talk a few minutes about the Lord is able. Now, I don't know who this is for, but I came to tell somebody he is able. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can think or ask according to the power that works in you. Look at your neighbor on the left side and say, neighbor, all I know is that he's able. Talk to that neighbor on the right side and tell him, neighbor, Oh, neighbor, God is able. Clap your hands and give him praise. Ooh. I don't know what you need him to do, but I came to tell you he's able to do it. He's able to shut the devil's mouth. He's able to turn a situation around. He's able to heal your body. He's able to deliver your soul. He's able to put food on your table. He's able to put money in your pocket. He's able to put the devil under your feet. God is able. Say right what the devil has made wrong. He's able to make your boss become your footstool. He's able to turn any situation that the devil has set up against you. God is able to turn it around in your favor. I wish I had about 155 folk who can just uh, jump up and say favor. God is able for your good. The Bible says even when the devil rushes in like a flood, we serve a God who can lift up a standard against him. I need somebody who's been praying over something, somebody who's been praying about something to just know that it's getting ready to turn in your favor. And it's going to turn in your favor because God is able He's able to turn water into wine. He's able to cause Peter to walk on water. He's able to make a bad day a good day. He's able to bring sunshine out of rain. He's able to calm the storms in your life. God is able. I dare you to high five three folk and tell them God is able.
His ability has to be by the power that works in you. Look at your neighbor on the right side and say, neighbor, do you have the power? Uh -uh, they didn't talk right. They didn't talk right. Talk to the neighbor on the left side and say, neighbor, I need to know if you got the power. Throw your hands up in the air. Throw those hands up in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. And say, Satan, I want you to know. I got the power. I got the power of the Holy Ghost working inside of me. Now clap your hands and give God praise. you he's been telling you that nothing's gonna change he's been suggesting that it's gonna stay this way all the time but you got to know that there's something down inside of you that can make demons tremble that can make principalities back up you got the power of the Holy Ghost wrap those arms around yourself and tell yourself say self shake it off and say neighbor I can't lose I can't lose with the stuff I use I can't lose with the stuff I use I use prayer I use fasting I use the word of God I use the blood of Jesus God gives purpose, but you got to perform. I said, God gives purpose, but you have to perform. Vision does not need faith. Vision does not need faith. Performance needs faith. 
You need faith to do what God told you to do. You need faith to walk like God told you to walk. You need faith to claim what God has told you to claim, and you have to perform. So before that we have communion, turn around and talk to somebody you ain't talked to this morning. Go ahead, find somebody. Y'all moving, so find somebody. And say, neighbor, I'm standing on the promises of God. And my performance is going to prove that I have faith in God. So right now, I'm going to praise him because I'm getting ready to give the devil winning performance. Come on and praise him. Just before you take your seats and before we have communion, find you one more person, just one more person. You might have to cross the aisle, but find you one person, because sometimes the people in your section, they know you too well. So sometimes you gotta find a stranger. <laughs> find you somebody. Grab them by both hands. And say, friend, the devil been messing with me. But I came to tell the devil this morning that the God I serve is able. His name is Jehovah. His name is El Shaddai. His name is El Arion. 
His name is Almighty God. And I serve a God that can make every wrong right. So neighbor, the Bible says, if two or three of us touch and agree, we're going to have those things that we have. Yeah!